I guess this is kind of one of the reductions by, by all means you guys can do. I mean, um, and there's a couple different ways to do it. There's something called the 90-90 reduction, where, of course, they have that angulation right there. You can kind of just bend that MCP to 90 and bend that IP joint to 90, and you kind of put your finger back there where that fracture's at, and you just push, and it reduces itself, and it's, it works really nicely. And you just make sure you have your rotation right so they're not scissoring. Um, and then just have your holder, you know, hold them out there while you're getting all your stuff together. Make sure you go. Sure. Alright. So I don't know if you saw, but I measured that and then kind of automatically when I went to make my lengths, I just made it a little bit longer. It was kind of just second nature. Yes. Once again. Whitney, your measuring points on that similar to before? Uh, for this, actually, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, just want to make sure that it's coming out to the end of the fingertips. Mm -hmm. And then just, I do mine to back here. Um, and this is one of those things where, I guess you could, you could stop this short here. Yeah. Um, if you do it to back here, you need to make sure that you pat them up quite a bit back there because they're going to want to move. Um, if it's, I think I'm used to doing these sometimes for younger kids at Children's when they're always not compliant and they're going to be doing stuff they shouldn't. I make it a little bit longer, just restricts them a little bit more. But for your average non compliant adult, you can make it a little bit shorter. <laughs> so once again, start That's up here. Okay. <laughs> and I'm wrapping around Goody here. Well, nothing feels better than punching a wall when you get mad. Same before we start that.